Oh, look at that. I'm not sure what we're doing next, actually. You know, I, I joke sometimes when I start recording that I'm one of the four people in the world that wear the wrist strap on a Wii Remote. For some reason, whenever I let's play Wii games, and I'm sitting here and I've everything set up and I don't have the wrist strap on yet, it it doesn't feel complete. There's uh, nothing to equip. That's new, so I guess I'll just keep this. It feels like I'm missing something. Like, I haven't set something up if I don't have this strap on. And then I put it on and everything's okay again. Okay. So, it feels like we are actually getting a lot of stuff done at a very quick rate lately. I don't know if that's going to at some point slow down as we start having difficulty doing things, or if that's going to keep accelerating until we finish everything. For instance, camel. Yeah. That's the eternal question. Monkey! Who needs camels when we have monkeys? Give me monkey. Actually, we already found the monkeys, but... Really? That's what we're doing next? Oh wait, did I already speak to him? No, I haven't. I've heard talk about this yet in a few cases, I guess. Oh man, I, I would like to see a whiteout during during the day at some point instead of just at night. But was it the Yeti that was looking out for me last night? That was wonderful. Is it on the Yeti corpse? Yeah, there you go. I think we'll save that for later. Are there any animals after this one? This might be the last one. Well, every time you said something interesting would happen before, it actually just turned out to be a picture. I don't remember what our hint was for the next person to look for, for orienteering, actually. But we can do something else for the moment. Like the quiz kid. Why not? I have a feeling we're going to start running out of things to do, though. Because we've seen a few people so far that say, Oh no, there's nothing left to do with me. Oh, some coughing after I just knead him in the stomach. Oh man, that was a some time ago. And that was like... Literally at least a month ago that I heard that, but okay. I want to see the answer to that... To that snow one, an ice one. The percentage of water that's snow and ice. I did some thinking about it. I think the main issue in my reasoning was that... I didn't take into account the fact that... The, the polar ice caps melting is enough to appreciably raise the water levels worldwide. So 0.2% was definitely way too little. I think I did... So, while I was brushing my teeth the night after... I did some thinking in my head, and I was able to, using some modeling that I, that in hindsight was probably really inaccurate, I managed to get it to where, what was it, if the ice caps were 20% were of the water in the world, and they all melted, that that would increase the sea level by like 10%, which would be huge, although... I think that that was in hindsight pretty wrong, because the way I... I was doing this all in my head as I was brushing my teeth again. But I eventually... I basically ended up modeling the Earth, Earth as a sphere of water. Which in hindsight was probably extremely inaccurate, because water is actually not mo most of the volume of the Earth. And I thought to myself, well, okay, if I increase the... I'm not listening to what this girl is saying at all. If I increase... Skis, did she say? Are you not on skis? Maybe she's not. Yeah, 18 skis. She She's actually nine people at once, you see. But I modeled it as a sphere of water. I thought to myself, okay, if I increase the volume of that w sphere by how much, how much will the radius increase by, I think it was? And then I got to realize, okay, wait a minute, this is like a square root of 3 over 2 situation or something like that. The, the, the factor by which that changes, it's not straightforward to do in your head. 
I think I managed to do it. But it's probably much closer to a linear relationship anyways, because it's, in reality, just like a, a thin sheet on the outside of the planet, because most of the planet is solid and or molten rock or whatever. Am I excited to get more than one of these skis each time I pass through these? Look kids, see this is why you study math and geometry and all that. Because when some little brat out on the slopes asks you about snow all over the world, you can you can answer accurately. I haven't looked it up by the way, in case you're wondering. So my next guess, but so I think that unless there is just a lot more water in these ice caps than I realize, and that them melting entirely would have a bigger effect than I realize, I won't think that the entirety of the ice caps melting would actually increase the water level by 10%, or upwards of 20% if you actually use a linear relationship instead of a square root one. Or is it square root of 2 over the 3, I guess it was, not 3 over 2, still. These skis are rendering a little weird. Why do you... This game likes to stack inputs when it doesn't understand the first time. Anyway, let's actually get to the finish, please. Shoo! Granny. That trick almost cost me at the end there. But assuming that that's correct, that the ice caps melting would raise the water level by 10 to 20 percent, that sounds unlikely, because I think that that would basically cover the entire earth in water, with the exception of some mountains, I think. I think that, so I'm guessing this, I may be wrong, I think the, the average depth of the ocean is way, the average distance from, let's say, the... Water surface to the ocean floor is, I think, greater, no, yeah, greater than the average distance from the water surface to land level. I think. I haven't looked that up. I'm actually just guessing that. But if that's true, then that would probably flood the whole earth in that case. I spent over half the, not over, but about half this episode just talking about my, my mathematical ponderings about flooding the earth. But, look, who else am I going to tell this to? Advanced. Little Afro brat doesn't care. So you guys are all I have left. This doesn't seem like that exciting of a course to do slalom on, actually. I mean, I'm, you're welcome to prove me wrong, man. But I don't think we're this much speed on you, this is nice. Although I'm not turning much. Ooh, that's better. Yeah, this isn't really slow, it's more just like following a set path. Shoot! Who? I think my my nunchuck stopped working in there. No, it didn't. I didn't crouch when I thought I would. Yeah, it just wants you to follow a specific path, basically. Whatever, I'll take it. And I could redo that to do something a bit more graceful, but I don't think it would really make much of a difference. Why do you keep saying this? Like, I there, I think there's only one style event left. That was some real fun there. I sometimes wonder what it would be like if you just followed an NPC in this game for a little while. Like, what if I acted as someone's entourage instead of them acting as my entourage? I would not have the patience for that, though. Oh! They're having a... <laughs> they're teaching me how to ski! Oh, that's awesome! It sounds like someone was a little annoyed that I barged in. That is cool! 
I like that you have little things like this. <laughs> I love this game. Alright. Thanks. Now then. I have a feeling that at the end it's going to be difficult to even figure out where the last few events are that we haven't done yet. That's where we just were. Whoops. Where I actually wanted to go was over here. And look at that! There's plenty to do here. We probably need to do some more of those tricks again too for that matter. I'll leave the quiz alone for the time being. And more collection? Jeez. Hey there. Hey there. Rule breaker, Granny. Just a side foot. Is this gonna be every trick? It's basically just gonna be the tutorial. If there's anything I haven't unlocked yet at the end of the game after getting all the stars, I guess I might have to do the tutorial just to make sure that. Oops. Does that count? Darn it. Just to make sure that there's nothing to unlock from that, because I don't. I was never sure if in the sequel you actually had to do that or not. To... I. Like, my animation has very nearly completed there. I feel like I should land just fine. But in the sequel, I could never tell if you actually had to complete the tutorial or not to get the... the ski skull outfit. What's the point of the time limit here? Whatever. Wonderful. Oh, Jerry. This song still entertains me. I feel like... <laughs> like some people get covered in snow. I feel like we should at least attempt again to do some camel stuff. This might be a bad idea at this point in time, though, in the episode, because we're about out of time for the episode. But it is something that needs to be done. Even though I'm not really sure how to do it, to be perfectly honest. In fact, I probably should dedicate like an entire episode to that. So instead, let's do something else. We got another stopping challenge. That ought to be quick. We can end the episode with that. There you did it. Oh. Some weird people here. I have no idea where I'm stopping, but okay. In the sequel, it showed you where to stop. Before you actually started. Is the challenge you're stopping or you're starting? I feel like we're starting pretty fast here. So very close. I guess and the idea is to force you to get speed. Because otherwise you won't make it to the, the stop zone. See you losers. Alright. I was stopping five advanced, that's if I read that right. That's all of them. I love all the slide whistles in this game. 
they met again in the sequel. Anyways, bye everyone. Oh? Special announcement. I really wonder who that is. Like, that's clearly a Japanese name. Must be a reference to something, but I don't know what. Anyways, bye everyone.